Now we're gonna see how the Smart Splice Braze Free Line Connector works on a unitized system and we're gonna be using the service valve of an outside condenser for this demonstration. You will need the following tools for this installation. You'll need a caliper, a tube cutter, a deburr, possibly a line extender or something to help make the lines round, and you'll need two open-end wrenches. And you'll definitely need oil to lubricate the lines before installation. The first step in the process is line preparation. We're gonna start by looking at the service valve on the condensing unit, and we wanna make sure that the bell is round and the proper depth. And this spacer will help us determine, make sure that we're round and that we have the proper depth of the bell. So we simply take the spacer, right here we're using a three quarter. We insert the spacer. If for some reason that the bell itself is not round or is not deep enough, you simply just get an expander or, a or something to round the line with. Come in and you can expand the bell or make the line round. The important parts about the mating line is really the OD of the mating line needs to be accurate. So we just want to verify using a caliper, and that's what we're measuring is 0.75, and the other piece, 0.375. You want to make sure that these copper tubes, especially soft copper tubing, has a couple inches of straight line and that it is round. Now we're gonna attach the 3 8 Smart Splice uh, Braze Free Line Connector for the uh, service valve. After we've oiled the pieces, we're gonna make sure we put the spacer, put the spacer in to make sure that we verified earlier. Put the nut first onto the expanded tube side. We have this little plastic piece with a rim that sticks out. It's very important to make sure the rim is facing the bell as you put it on there. So the smaller rim is facing the bell. We're gonna simply walk this on here nice and easy. Push that back on, fits nicely. Then we have a metal holding piece. On this metal piece, you wanna make sure that the open end side goes on first. And once again, you're gonna want the little rim facing out towards the bell. You'll notice that the plastic piece is gonna fit nicely into the metal piece that you just put on. And when you tighten it down, it'll tighten very nice. Then you take your expanded seal sleeve, put it directly onto the bell. Then you take your body, simply put it on, feed your pieces in, nice and easy. Pieces come nicely into there. Everything moves directly up. Start tightening by hand until it's nice and tight. Then you simply take your adjustable wrenches and you simply just tighten down until, the, until it stops tightening and there we are. Now we have attached the expanded tube side for the 3 8 on the service valve over the bell. Now it's time to attach the line. The line side's very simple. Simply once again, we wanna make sure we oil the line nice and easy. Insert the line, hand tighten as much as you can. Take your wrenches and finish tightening until the nut and the body meet and it stops. Now that we've completed the 3A service valve, we're gonna move on to the three quarter line. Take the spacer, put some oil on it. Insert it, take some oil around the outside here. Take the pre-assemble side of the expanded piece and simply push it on until it comes to a nice, complete stop. Then we take our wrenches, and then we just simply tighten. We go through and tighten this until it comes to a complete stop, and then this side is completed. So we wanna make sure, as we have this, we have the uh, seal sleeve, anti-vibration, tension ring, and nut. All right, so now we're gonna insert this, the, the standard side. Kind of put it in, start the seal sleeve in, bring in the anti-vibration tension ring, you bring the nut in, start tightening it, get started nice a good amount. Then we simply just grab our wrenches. We'll finish tightening it until it stops. You want to tighten it once again all, all the way until the nut touches the body. And that's pretty good right there. Looks like we've made it. Now that we have completed the 3 8 and 3 quarters Smart Splice Braze Free Line Connectors for Service Valves, it is time to pressurize your system to test for leaks. 
then vacuum the system, test for leaks, and then once all that's completed, everything's passed, charge your system and you're ready to go.